Police are working on an early morning homicide. Police say they found a man lying in front of an apartment on South Maple. They think he was shot in a parking lot, ran a short distance, and collapsed in front of the building. Investigators have not released the victim's name, and they do not have a motive or any suspects. Little Rock Police is still looking for the person responsible for the city's most recent homicide. It happened yesterday afternoon on Kensington Drive near Bellshire. Isabella Moeller is live following this story for us this morning from the Little Rock Police Department. Isabella. Hey, good morning, Ashley. They're not looking for her anymore. She was uh, in the Pulaski County Jail. What we know is that she actually called police and turned herself in. She said that she had stabbed a man and took his belongings and a car before she left. Uh, it's definitely not the story that you typically hear, though, that someone turns himself in, calls 911, and says what happened. Right, right now, we don't know who the victim is, though. We know that he's in his 50s or 60s, but that's all. Uh, police are still searching for a motive and searching to find out why she would have done this and what the connection is between the two. So hopefully we'll learn a little bit more later this morning. Live in Little Rock, Isabella Moeller, back to you. All right, thanks for that update, Isabella. Little Rock police are now offering a reward of up to $10,000 for information in a homicide from last month. Officers found Marisa Culberson shot on Jefferson Street July 7th. He was taken to a hospital where he later died. Now, right now, investigators do not have a suspect, so they are asking anyone with information to please come forward. An 18-year-old in Miller County accused of trying to steal a plane to go to a concert in another state. Zamarcus Scott is now charged with commercial burglary and theft of property. Officers say they found Scott in the pilot seat on July 4th. He told Texarkana police he didn't know how to fly the plane, adding he didn't think there was much to it except to push a few buttons. He's being held on a $25,000 bond. Now on to a Fox 16 breaking news update. Age and equipment malfunctions may be to blame for a fire that damaged a popular Sherwood restaurant. We first brought you this breaking news yesterday morning here on Good Day. Flames started shooting out of JoJo's Barbecue sometime before 3 o'clock yesterday morning. The building owner says the building is about 65% damaged. The manager says he's disappointed. Oh, man, my heart dropped. I walked through there and I was like, man, you got to be kidding me. It's just like 15 years of your life gone. Uh, workers hope to move into another location or possibly rebuild. New this morning, a Jacksonville woman arrested accused of making a false report. Police say Mary McClung told police her children were being held hostage and that they had guns. Turns out the children worked inside the house. Police say they found drug paraphernalia on McClung. A proposed annexation in BB has some people unhappy about the pro prospect of living in the city limits. BB's mayor says it would be a small annexation for the future development of the city. And one person who lives in that area started a petition against that annexation, which he says the majority of locals signed. I think this would probably be likely um, as far out Highway 64 West, you would see uh, the city grow in, in a long period of time. Coming out here, telling us what to do, everything about it. No, we, we don't want this. The annexation issue will be on the upcoming November ballot.